this serenity pot design is inspired by Chenjo Bale. I use the new furnishings to create a town in Autumn Hall Peak that uses both areas to the fullest. Any area in Emerald Peak is hard to design for because most of them are divided in two, but you still have the same load allowance to decorate both places, so it's always a challenge. Autumn Hall Peak is especially difficult because the camera doesn't zoom in close enough for you to use the usual floating trick. But do not worry, I still managed to float some things in here with a different trick. It took me so long to release this video because I made the effort to make the replica in two servers, so I hope you'll enjoy that. It's available in the Europe server and the Asia server. The design is two walled enclosures with red tones in the lower area and greener, more spring-like tones in the elevated area. I made heavy use of rocks because they help filling out empty spaces and they look pretty natural to me. I decided to place the watchtower on the upper area because it's so tall and I thought it would eclipse anything else that is viewed from below, from the lower area. That building is very load heavy by the way. I'm sure you can make a more detailed town if you decide not to use it. I just couldn't resist because it looks so unique. The garden in front of the watchtower is my favorite with the lanterns at different heights. But the old statue sitting on a rock is also a cool touch, don't you think? You can get the old statue by completing the Fujin storyline in Chen Yu Vale and leveling up the Rain Jade Oblation using Spirit Carbs. Another item you might not know where to get is this building with stairs and a wooden platform. You have to do the most recent web event featuring Gaming and Shang Yun. Thanks to Arif for telling me. So now I will explain to you the alternative way to float stuff. Uh, in Autumn Hall Peak you cannot really zoom in too much, so I found a different way to float things. I don't know if this is a common trick that is people already know about, but I just uh, discovered about it accidentally by messing up with stuff. So what you will need is the surface that you want to float stuff in, in this case it's a rock, a floating platform of any kind, the item that you want to place floating, in this case the owl statue, and another item, it doesn't matter uh, about this item, you are going to delete it. So what we will do is place the items on top of the platform like this and then place them into a set together like this then you move the platform next to the place you want the thing to float on top of uh, make sure it's next to it and not underneath because you want it to float again you don't want the, the item to remain in the platform so now you grab the other item edit set and then move Oops, then move like this outside the platform. Okay, maybe the, the scarecrow is not the best example because uh, of the box it has, but more or less, uh, I guess it's better to use a smaller item, but like this, it remains floating and now you can delete and the statue will remain there. So yeah, have fun! So there you have the replica codes and the furnishings that I used. If you want the list of furnishings in text form, I always link it in the description box. It will take you to a Google document and it's very straightforward. The most challenging part of making this design for me was the cohesion between the two areas, like I said, but also learning how to use the new walls. Don't get me wrong, they are gorgeous. I love them so much, but there is not a clear way to snap them together and the corner piece they made is not my favorite so I kinda avoided it and blended the walls together in the best way that I could. And well, there is such a height difference between the pieces too. The smaller pieces snap together pretty well, but it's kinda hard to blend them with the taller ones. I still think the taller wall pieces are pretty cool because they will allow creative multi-level designs to shine by syncing the, those taller pieces to make different layers of height. I will totally try that in Floating Abode or any other realm that allows me to focus on making something detailed in one setting. 
like I said, because the Emerald Peak kinda makes you split your attention. Also, speaking of other designs, I didn't forget about Lantern Light. I know, I'm late, but I'll make a festive Liyue a design very soon. I just really wanted to get this out first since it was my earliest inspiration. I will try to make the lantern right design in both servers as well, so it might still take a while. So by the time I'm done with it, you may not be in the Lunar New Year mood anymore, but I hope you still like it. I didn't make use of the carp lamps here because I wanted to reserve them for that. What were your plans during Lunar New Year? Do you celebrate it at all? I do not, because it's not part of my culture, but I do congratulate my Asian friends, and it's always fun to celebrate it in-game with Lantern Ride. What character will you redeem for the free 4-star selection? I imagine most people will pick Gaming, but still, I'm curious. And Happy Lantern Ride! Happy Lunar New Year! I still haven't played the Lantern Ride event, because I wanted to play the Shangyun story quest first, and I also have been postponing that because I was constantly wondering if I wanted to record that for a reaction. I've been doing other things, so I've been busy to record that, and also I wanted to uh, upload a Serenity Pod video first because I know that's what people subscribe to this channel for so I didn't want to upload a story quest reaction first and honestly I'm not sure if I will do that at all I think maybe I'm not cut out for that and I think it's okay so yeah I will probably play it today and then get into the London Ride event I can't wait to see what's in store for this year it's our fourth Lunar New Year with Genshin Impact I've been a player since launch, so I've been here for all four lantern rides, and I've made memories each year, and I hope to continue to make new memories with this game. Genshin Impact has become my favorite game for the past three years, and I think it's going to continue to be the case in the future. Happy Lantern Ride guys, I hope to see you again next time, probably for a Lantern Ride design, hopefully I'm not too late, but definitely late, <laughs> Lunar New Year was the, the, the 10th of February, wasn't it? Anyways, see you guys, bye bye!